Karen with the K come to you guys with a new video. So today's video is long awaited. I've been getting a lot of questions about this hair. I've been wearing it for several weeks, y'all. Literally, I love this wig. I'm obsessed. I think it looks so natural. And recently, I just have been wearing my natural hair like maybe for the past week. And when I tell y'all this hair mimics my natural hair so well, my natural hair is maybe like a tad bit longer. And it's not like styled into bob like this, but it looks so natural just like my natural hair, y'all. This wig is like it okay so a lot of you have asked me and i told you guys that the video will be coming soon i ended up having to re-record this video like two or three times i don't know what's been going on but your girl been struggling but we're here okay and the video is complete it's gonna be done tonight tonight <laughs> um anyway so this wig i have on my head right here is from wig encounters thank you so much to wig encounters for reaching out to me i love this wig y'all i love this wig i love this wig i love this wig okay let me go ahead and give you guys the specs on the wig. So this is their Indian Remy hair. I have it in the color 1B, which is the off black. I have the length 10 inches. I have done no cutting to this wig whatsoever. I just added um, a few little curls with my straightener. And y'all, when I tell y'all I have worked out in this wig, slept in it, took a shower in it, washed it, everything, okay? Straightened it, curled it, blow dried it, all that. I've done everything in this wig and it is still bomb and slaying my life, okay? I really should have did my edges or something just to get the full effect of the wig, but y'all get it. Let's see, um, the hair density is 130% on the hairline, and then in the back is 150%. So it does give a more natural look because the back is a little bit more thicker than the front, which is perfect with me. Let's see, it has the glueless lace front cap for the cap construction. There are baby hair around the perimeter, but y'all know I don't really mess with that. Sometimes I might lay my own personal baby hair down to give it kind of more like a natural look. But I didn't do that today. But in the video, I will show you guys how to unbox the wig, style the wig, put the elastic band on, and all of that. So stay tuned. Let's see what else we have. It says natural pre-plucked hairline. The Swiss lace material is soft. So all the people that ask, is the lace like hard or soft? This is soft lace, so it's really comfortable to wear. And it says they bleach the knots around the perimeter. I will say, if you want a really, really super natural look with this wig, I would suggest... You bleaching the knots yourself. I don't really know how to do that. I've done it once. It was a fail. I was going to upload that video, but I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to do myself with that. Now, if I fix it, which I plan on doing, then I'll upload the video. But, um, yeah, that's the specs on this gorgeous unit. Really, really feeling her. I'm not getting too much shedding. Really, literally no tangles. And like I said, I've worn this wig literally in every scenario you can put me in, okay? Almost. Um... Yeah, so without further ado, let me go ahead and into the clip of me unboxing this wig, styling the wig, last fan, all of that, y'all. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so here's the packaging. Super cute, black sleeve, straight to the point. Not too much going on with it. I love good packaging. So here's the wig. It comes in like a plastic wrap. Here's a little card that gives you information for the, about the company, as well as information on the specific wig that you purchased. And they give you a wig cap. It's like a mesh wig cap. I usually don't really use those. I might try to keep attempting to make crochet wigs with those, but that's about it, y'all. So here is the wig. Super cute right off the bat. I can tell that it's really good quality, and I appreciate that. Sorry about my phone, y'all. Like, it's trying to hold me back. Okay. But um, I'm looking at the lace because I thought it was bleached, but it didn't really look like it. So um, I'm going to show you guys um, the construction of the cap now. I'm already showing it. Two clips on the side or combs on the side, a comb in the middle as well as a comb on the bottom and adjustable strap. And as you see, there's lace at the top portion, like a frontal type, as well as lace on the back. I'm going to cut off all of the lace, and I'm going to show you guys how I do that. I know everybody always asks me, like, can you just show how to cut the lace? And y'all, when I tell you, I don't know if I'm doing it right, I just cut the lace off. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, some people say you're supposed to leave a little bit of lace, which I can see that, but I don't bleach my knots. But I am going to try this little method in this video, which I've been using, which I really like. So just let me know if you guys have tried this method. You guys will see it soon. Um, and if you think it's good, better, best than, um, bleaching the knots and all that. But y'all know I'll be busy and I ain't got time for all the bleaching. And I've done it before and it was failed. Moving along. <laughs> so here I'm just cutting the lace like I said. I'm also going to show you guys how I adjust the adjustable straps. I don't know if I've ever, I think I have shown that in a video. But yeah, it's really easy. It just kind of, um, makes it the wig tighter around the perimeter. Or you can make it looser for my big head queens i feel like my head is like medium i don't know like I, I sometimes i feel like my head is small sometimes i feel like it's big like i don't know just depends on the wig i guess so um i was trying to cut it as much as i could on the camera but it's actually harder just than you think here i'm just gently pulling the wig to get some of that excess shedding from when i cut the lace because i do not cut it perfect y'all okay but yeah so that's what it's looking like so here i'm just showing you how i adjust the adjustable straps um 
it looks really complicated when I rewatch the video, but like it's really not that difficult, y'all. I just wanted to show y'all. It's like you clip it like with your bra straps, basically. And you're gonna pull the um comb portion down. I'm kind of showing that not really, so that you can get to the little loops and just connect them. You can connect them on the same loop, loops next to each other, however tight or loose you want your wig to be. Then I'm using my L'Oreal True Max True Match <laughs> foundation in the color cappuccino for the lace. And this is the new little method I was using. I did do a rookie move, y'all. I meant to spray the wig first, then put the powder on it, but it still worked out. So here I'm just putting the powder on the wig. I also should have used like a bigger fluffier brush, but this is a brush that I don't really use. So I was like, let me just use what I got, okay? Let's save some coins. <laughs> so I'm putting that powder all on the part area. I'm going to put end up putting it on the entire lace because I it hit me like when I put the wig on, sometimes the lace next to your ears and even other places of your the perimeter of your forehead. What am I thinking? Your edges, your edge line. Anyway, y'all you know what I'm saying. Can look like lacy or too dark, too light. So I want to make sure I got it all over that. I'm using the got to be glue, got to be glued spray, and I'm just spraying it all over where I just put the powder. I'm also gonna go back in on top of that and put another layer of powder, and I'm gonna spray it again. And I think I do two or three layers, and it really, really, really makes a huge difference. If you want to, you can blow dry, but I was just kind of fanning it and letting it dry. I wasn't really in a hurry. During this, even though I'm sped up the video, y'all. I didn't want it to be too long of a video. But, yeah, and I can already tell the difference. I don't know if you guys can tell. Look at this, y'all. Like, yes, what part? What wig? Okay. So, here I am with my wig grip, y'all. I keep saying I'm going to do a video on it, y'all, and I swear it's coming. Okay? I swear. Anyway, and I don't, I don't, I know people use, like, a lighter wig cap. I don't know. I like the brown one, but it just kind of depends. Sometimes I wear the black one still, sometimes I do the brown one. Or lighter one so here I'm going to show you guys how I sew on my elastic band I just wanted to try on the wig to see if I needed one because sometimes I don't depending on the wig construction but yeah so I love my elastic band method this is like my go-to for any wig like I need an elastic band so I buy my elastic from like a fabric store Joanne fabrics Michaels things like that and I just buy like a big roll of the black one um and I measured it to my ear to ear as y'all see I'm doing it again here I measured it before I cut it then I cut it and remeasure just to make sure it's not gonna be too tight so I'm going to show you exactly how I sew it. I know I'm not a professional. So hairstyles out there don't cover my neck. I just do what I can, okay? I'm not a professional. Okay, I am just a broke law student trying to save a coin. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to literally just sew. Um, I don't do any specific method. I just sew that thing on there so that it can be tight. It won't come off and all that. Um, when you see me doing like a loop around the needle, I'm making a knot. So um. That's why I was doing that, just in case somebody was wondering. So, right here. I just did it, yeah. Um, and then you want to make sure you're pulling it tight and all that. Ooh, one of my nails is chipped. <laughs> tacky. Not just playing. But, I mean, not playing. But it is tacky. I need to get my nails done. But, any moving along. Yeah, as y'all see, I'm just sewing it on there. It was kind of hard to film, but I hope y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. But now that I'm watching, I'm like, girl, what is you doing? I should have just moved the camera and, like, put it, like, going downward. Anyway, y'all don't really care what I'm talking about. But yeah, I hope you guys can tell what I'm doing. I'm just kind of sewing it straight across. Nothing special, nothing fancy. I get like my needle and thread from Sally's or a beauty supply store. So here I'm doing the other side. I'm going to speed this side up because it's the same thing. I literally just um, get it in the right position that I need it. Like near the like ear area, kind of where I measured it on myself, measured the elastic band. I'm going to sew it on that same area of the wig. Kind of where the flap is. Y'all know that flap that's like right above your ear? I don't even know what that area of your head is called. Like near your temples? I don't know. <laughs> but it always flips up. Like even with glue, like tape. As you see, I know y'all seen a lot of videos where it's like, girl, that little flap keep flapping up. So that's really uh, a good thing about the elastic band. It'll help keep that flap down. Even when you're using glue, tape, all that. So I definitely recommend doing that. Here's the final results. It was a little bit tight, but I'd rather it be too tight than too loose. So you know what I mean? Um... So I'm just trying the wig on, seeing what I'm working with. I was like, yes, I was really liking the results, y'all. Really liking the results. Side note, do you guys rather me talk when I'm doing this kind of thing or just play the music? I mean, I'll probably do a combination of the both, but I'm going to talk it in the mood. You feel me? So here I'm just going to, um, I'm just analyzing how the wig looks. I'm pulling it back just a tad bit. I'm going to pull out a few of my little baby hairs, little edges, whatever y'all want to call them. I could have created edges with the wig and like not did my hair, but I was like, you know, I'm just going to do something with my edges and see what I can work with. 
clipping the hair back so I can see where my hair is and where the heart hairline is. But can y'all see that? Is it just me or is it looking like what? Wait, I'm really hyped. So I'm using the Cream of Nature 24 Hour Edge Tamer. This has been like my favorite edge tamer lately. I really like Cream of Nature's Argon Oil too. Um, but this is their coconut oil from their, I think this is still a new line. Maybe it's old by now. You know, hair products come, come and go. But I still like it. I've been using it. Um, you will see at the end of the video, my hair, my um, edges weren't all the way dry. So it lifted a little bit. But I am just showing y'all how I lay my little baby hairs. I'm not a professional, y'all. Like I said, I just do what I can. Do what I can. And then I'm going to put a scarf on to try to lay it down. But like I said, it didn't dry all the way. But... You know, I'm still trying to find the best edge control. So if y'all have any recommendations, I have type 4 hair and my hair just don't care about what I'm trying to do when I want it to lay down. <laughs> Let me know some of your favorite edge controls. And there we are. Boom. So now I'm going to start straightening my hair. And um, yeah, I'm just using the um, Baby Blue Bliss. Baby Blue Bliss. Blue Bliss. Whatever. Straightener. I'll put the information down in the description box below. I love this for my natural hair. I've been just loving it. I bought it. Spurged on it. It's a little bit pricier than I want to pay for a straightener. But I like it. Um, And it's really quick. Here I'm just going through. Flipping it a little bit. I used the same straightener when I added the curls in the first clip of the video. And um, on the end clip you'll see my hair again. Where it's kind of curled in the front with a little bang area. So here I took the scarf off. I think it's looking pretty darn good. What wig? <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to stop talking now because I'm going to do like some slow-mos and then finish off the video. hope you guys have been enjoying it. If you are enjoying the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. But yeah, come on with yes. much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm still loving this wig and if you've seen me wearing this wig on my social media now you know which wig it is i think it's pretty darn affordable because it's already a full wig made i didn't have to sew no bundle so a closure none of that okay it came slaying my life the number one thing i will say is to add the elastic band for more um what's the word for more um security um i don't prefer to use the combs clips or anything like that i do use adjustable straps when they have them but for me, I know the combs and clips, after some time, they do tend to pull my edges and pull my nape area. And y'all, I'm trying to make sure my hair underneath the wigs is still growing and slaying, okay? But I will use Jamaican Black Castor Oil around my perimeter and my nape, as well as the Wild Growth Hair Oil, I believe is the name. It's like in a little white container at the beauty supply store. I use that to help me make sure my edges and perimeter and my hair in general are still in good, healthy shape. Um, but yeah, if you guys would like to see a video of me, how I like keep up with my hair underneath my wigs, I do already have a video up, but if you guys want, want me to go into more detail, I will definitely do that video. That's it, you guys. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much to Wig Encounters for reaching out to me. Thank you so much to each and every one of you for watching my videos. I love you guys. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, y'all, it's free. You just press the button, okay? And you in there, notified. Speaking of notifications, y'all, shout out to Notification Gang, okay? That just means you hit the little bell button next to the subscribe button so you never miss a video, okay? Because I'm coming back. I always say that, y'all, but y'all know my busy schedule. But I'm, I'm here, okay? And we ain't going nowhere. We here. We here. Okay. All right. That was lame. Let's just edit that out. Let's edit that out. <laughs> Don't forget to share this video with your family and friends, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Later.